Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the Steel Monotype run of EV Emerald. Last time, we hit Team Aquaid, the Weather Institute, meet up a rival again, evolved Alice into his final form, Agron. This time, our objective is to get the 6th Gym Badge. But to do that... Okay, who cares? Anyway, as I was saying, but to do that, we have to go east to pick up something first. So, we go this way... Now, the gym's down here, but we can't go there, because there's an invisible Kecleon on the way. And to get that dickhead out of the way, we need to go get the Devon Scope. Of course, we're also pretty close to evolving Matang here. The Tang evolves at level 45, so we're probably going to do that before we get to the 7th gym, for sure. Down you go. Here we get ourselves a rare candy. Hold on to those for later. And here is Gabby and Ty in their third and final location. If you beat them here, they just go back to where they first were on Route 111. They cycle around those three locations each time you beat them. So once you get Fly, after being the sixth gym, you can follow them around and farm them for money and experience pretty easily. Because unlike most trainers, you don't have to wait for them. They're ready to battle whenever you are. Down you go. All right, what can we tell them this time? Hmm. Hmm. Well, if you're viewing this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe by the end. How about that? There's a couple of hidden items here in the grass, somewhere. Mm -hmm. Sucks to be you, Mighty Anna. Okay, this is going to get annoying if we keep having to battle Pokemon every couple of seconds.
Alright, let's... Let's make this easier on ourselves. There's a revive. Battle this guy real quick. And now we go over here and talk to Steven. See that shadow? That's a Kecleon. Yeah, what's it to you? Eh, where does the lever be? Eh, I'll catch it. Why the hell not? I may wonder, well, Kecleon could be any type you want, right? Could you use it on any model type? No, unfortunately not, because it only changes type if you hit it with a given attack. I considered making it something I could use on any team, but nah. Though it would be kind of fun. I don't know. Probably not. Hmm. What should I call you? Hmm. I'm not gonna nickname you yet, I'll think of something. Alright, Steven, now shut up, please. Now, there's a couple other things we can do before we go back. First of all, there's another Kecleon over here. You know what, I might ask a couple of people on Discord if Kecleon should count as an honorary steel type. I'll think about it. There you go. And there's actually a whole bunch of these hitting Kecleon around here. Nest Ball. Now we're going to surf down here to this little cave. This cave is based on, I forget the name of it, but it's some location in Shinto mythology. It's a cave where Amaterasu hid from Suzano, one of the other gods in her pantheon, and you get the TM, Sunny Day. Anyway, I will see you back in Fortree City. And we're back! So here's the hidden Kecleon. And it's out of the way. And now let's move on to the gym. So here, the, the gym puzzle is a bunch of... You know, it's a bunch of swinging doors. Okay, so we're going to switch over to... Electric Guy here. Because this is a flying-type gym. So he's going to be right in his element. Or I guess it. Magneton doesn't have a sex.
by Humberto. down This is probably going to be the easiest gym in the whole run, if I can be perfectly honest. Whoop-de-doo, you managed to get one hit in. Congratulations. Uh, actually not. There you go. Oh, come on. Oh, you fucked up. <laughs> you thought you were going to help yourself. Oh, no. You just made it much worse. <laughs> Of course, it does mean that the experience is going to be spread out more, but, eh, whatever. It's not going to make that much of a difference. Level up. That's the second set of trainers down. Okay, so now... We do this. Go like this. Then back up here. Then up here. Then up here. And then we get to the next trainers. I think there's one more trainer, maybe two. Yeah, you'll notice there's a lot more double battles in the gyms in Admiral version compared to, say, Ruby or Sapphire. One of the big complaints about Ruby and Sapphire was the double battle mechanic, which was introduced in Gen 3, was rather under was actually rather under, underutilized, so they fixed that in this one. But you didn't see much of it in Fire Red and Leaf Green either, but then again, those were remakes of Generation 1, so that wasn't too surprising. Down you go. Mm, fuck you. Level up. Yep, one last trainer over here. This should be easy.
That is a little annoying, because it is grass type, it can resist uh, electric attacks. Well, it's not super effective, rather. And that's it for the gym trainers. So this one, we want to go like this, then like this, up here, then back around, like this, push back there, go up here, and then we're up here to fight Winona. Let me see, did I pick up anything? Yep, you did. What did you got for the striper? Ultra Ball. Okay, I won't say no to that. Eh, I don't think I need a heal for this one. This should be easy. Again, if you're wondering about the times, because I'm using speed up during grinding off camera, so it's a little less painful. So that tends to fuck up the in game clock. Hmm. Five Pokemon. Okay, now Swablu needs to go down fast, because otherwise it'll use Parish Song. There you go. That's out of the way. And, well, the second biggest threat of the team is arguably gone now. The biggest one is Altaria. Speak of the devil. Because Altaria knows Earthquake. And it didn't use it. But it might on the next turn if it can outrun me. Because the Citrus Berry, I don't think it's going to heal again. Or Orange Berry, rather. We'll see. Yep. Called it. Ha 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 ha! Fuck you! Double weakness and you still couldn't knock it out. You just can't make this up. Again, unscripted. Okay, you know what? Actually, we're gonna we're gonna switch Pokemon. Give Skarmory a chance to get some experience. Use Air Cutter? <clears throat> Down you go. One more Pokemon. Pelipper. And it's just going to waste my time with Protect. Okay. Oh no, you don't. In fact, I'm going to make this really shitty for you. Now we're going to switch. We were up on about the 10 minute mark, so I had to cut as well anyway. Bye bye. Oh, fuck you. You're just delaying the inevitable, Winona. Give up. And there goes the battle, like there was any doubt about the outcome. And with that, we obtain the Feather Badge. And the TM for Aerial Ace. And I think that should wrap it up for now. If you like what you see, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rubble page. 
Next time, we're going south towards Mount Pyre. I'll see you all next time.